welcome back with me. You know me, I'm Kevin. And today, I make my own height security lock. So, this lock is used in the most like kind of office or anywhere else that you need to keep it privacy and strong. And for this one, you don't want anybody to see what you don't want everybody to see. So, use this. And for this one, I'm using the simulation with a Lego Lego door like this. So to make this, you're going to need a, a bunch of Lego. So this one, this is just the roof for this one. And in here, there's the door. And here, well, you can see here that this are in here. This little metal here, and this is actually the locking mechanism. And you can see here that there's like a big bunch like this. Actually, the the locking mechanism is like as big as around this, also popping out in, you know, on the other side here. Then, for this one, I'm using an Arduino Mega. You got you have to use an Arduino Mega. You cannot use an Arduino Uno. And I'm also using an LCD with a backpack, an RFID scanner, then a buzzer, and there's an adapter, some some tags. At least you're gonna need two for the known card and an unknown card. Then this keypad. And a bunch of wait, and an RGB LED to show the status. And now, just for the door, this is the inside part. And if it is being locked like this one here right now, you can't open it because the first thing it can't open to the front at all. And this little lock here. Is holding the door from mm, well moving around. So if you want to open it, you're going to have a card. So for example, I'm using this card. Just wait for it to scan. Okay, let's just use the other one. So for the first one, if the card is known, it will go beep like that with a high tone. Then let's just type in the password. And if we click it, so you can see here that just now, if you type in the correct password, the the lock will attract itself, and then you can just go ahead and open it. So this is actually just the in here, this is actually just the door by itself. So now, for the LCD and the other things, the first thing, if you tap the wrong card, for example, it is this one, the RGB LED will turn to red, and then it will go like beep sound. And you can see just now in the LCD, it shows card on now. And I have the card, so if you tap the right card, which is this one, and so if you tap the wrong password, for example, let's just type in randomly like this, and click start to confirm the password. If your password is wrong, access denied, and you're gonna have to do all over the whole thing again. Okay, I'm just going to tap it. So now, if you tap the right card, you can see just now that the. You can also hear just now that the mag. The locks locking system in the door. Just beep, okay. 
So I think just to make sure, do not put your card under the RFID. Okay, let's just cancel this. So, actually, you you don't just have to use one card for everything. You can actually have multiple cards for that is known, and you can have also a plenty of cards which are unknown, like this one. Now, in here, these are all the things that you need to do make that. In here, this is the connection for the LCD backpack, it's already here. And also for the keypad, like this one. So, there are eight, eight pins to be connected. And, oops, sorry. And there are eight digital pins here. So, the the last four from the bottom, it is for the columns and the first four in here are for the rows. So for example, if it is row zero and column zero, it's going to be one. Okay, next in here, this is the connection for the RFID, the RGB LED buzzer, and this is for the Relay also for the lock and and this DC dog holes is from the adapter and there are four pins here and and there are also these things which you need to connect to the Arduino Mega and the third pin is not used because we're only going to use one of them and for the last one this is for the flow chart about how it works. So everything will just end in the access granted, access denied, or card unknown. And now for the first part in here, this is all for including the libraries. For the pictures, this is for the buzzer notes. And this is for the RFID, this is the ID value for the RFID 2. Then down here, this for the LCD, 16 by 2, 4 rows and 4 columns, the key map for the, the keypad, the row pins and the column pins, for the keypad, the password location because you're gonna type in every digit, and the character for the password, the data on X is for the each person. So if you want to add someone, you can just simply type in the num the RFID number, the name, and for the password. And down here, the begins is for the RGB LED, the red, green, blue, and this for the buzzer. Then this is the top, you'll see what is actually this layer of your card for the intro. And for this one, RGB, so it turns on the blue ones first. Then, if there's a card, it will read. Then, set the confirm to kind of open the door and confirm the stuff. And here, there's just the name and the password. Then in here, so it goes to hold for the whole thing twice, also with this one and two, like that. Then also for the data pass, so it actually states that these things as name, password, and code, like that. Then after that, if the data number is equal to the ID value, well then this out and if it is equal it says on from the one which means if the name is equal to the the ID value then it reads so if the confirm is one then we will do all these things hello and also the name then for this one 
and there's a lot of space here for everybody to type in the password but if it is not recognized for the card card on round and then go to the top which is up here then down here it puts all these things as string and in here while the key press is not pressing the star button which is to confirm the password we'll always get the key place in the digit press and after that if the key press is already star that means it's already confirmed that means it breaks the while loop and also set the password location to zero because you need to type every single password in different places every time and then down here again if the password is same oops okay so okay was here so if the password is correct that means it will do all these things access granted and for this one this is for the the relay and also for the locking mechanism so it opens and then goes wait for three seconds and then close but if the password is not same access denied program ends go back to top hit the RFID and so on So thank you for watching, good luck keeping your things safe, and don't forget to subscribe.